Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to answer a question that came into the comment from my last video on animating model states. This one came from Darren and he asked, is it possible to create a shape in Inventor Sheet Metal that represents bump forming? So uh, I'm not, uh, I don't form sheet metal for a living. So I had to look up what bump forming was. Uh, but it's basically where you would approximate a curve with little segments. So it's absolutely possible. And the tool that I'm going to take a look at today is the lofted flange. Now, I would recommend, of course, um, parameterizing your design first. So these are the user parameters I'm going to use to control that. I've already applied them to the sketch to save a little bit of time. <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an offset plane to set up the lofted flange, because I think it'll work really well for this. And I'm gonna use the parameter part length or listing the parameters, find the part length. Let's go ahead and hit the green check mark, double click to zoom out and there's our work plane. <clears throat> so I'm gonna create a new sketch on this plane and I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, project the geometry from each of these lines and most people, when they work with the lofted flange, they use it to transition between two dissimilar shapes, like a rectangle to a circle, or to create like a reducing section for ductwork or something like that. <clears throat> but it actually can be used for a straight line shape. So now that I've got my two sketches, I can do a lofted flange from profile one to profile two. And what's interesting about this is, well, first off, just normal stuff. I check to see. Did it go the right way? Nope, so I want it to go the other way. That was the outside dimension. And <clears throat> notice it will allow you to create the segments automatically. So you could do a roll form version if you wish, or you can do the segmented version. And then in, inside, you could play with uh, different ways to control the number of segments. And so I, of course, have a parameter. I mean, of course, right? I just wouldn't be me if I didn't. And that would be your one inch segment lengths between nodes. So if we hit okay, not taking the bends into account, you'll see that it's pretty close to one inch, you know, depending on how you've defined that. So <clears throat> with those bend radii in there, that's how you can get that lofted flange to show the segments. So that's it. And then <clears throat> I'll post a link to the animation in the previous video. If you wanted to animate the model states, you could uh, look at that previous video link to see how that could be done to simulate how a shape could be formed. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.